job one was not to try and fill out, to, to uh, step into Jim Morrison's shoes or take over a role in that sense, you know, try not to mimic or do a pastiche of Morrison. The idea was he was a rich body of work in the same, same way that Shakespeare is a body of work. And it's my interpretation of it coming through my filter. And Ray and Robbie were very good in kind of guiding me into what worked in my persona, what worked in my instrument for the way they wanted it. So I was very pliable with them. I allowed them to kind of help guide me into the instrument that they wanted me to be. Now there are some, you know, there, there's certain things with, with archetypal inflections of Morrison that, that, you know, like lyrical inflections, vocal inflections, space that you have to get. They're just such an integral part of the song. The same kind of beats that you would get with Shakespeare. You know, you, you have to get those beats right. And I do think, of, when I think of the Doors, I think of Shakespeare. I think Shakespearean. Well, you wanted to be a poet. Yeah, for right? yeah. So you had that literary uh, prowess and you had that literary space and he really knew what he was doing with timing and words. And words, certain words have to be delivered with a certain sentiment behind them. So you have to understand subtext. So it wasn't just as simple as like, oh yeah, I'm going to sing these songs in the full roar. Yeah. I had to go in and really get some of the, the backstory and some of the songs. And, and Ray and Robbie were really beautiful with that. They took me through a lot of the, the environments and situations and maybe some of the mindsets that Morrison might have been in. So it really gave me a, an insight into this person. And I got to see it from the inside. And I can understand, I have a perspective now on why perhaps the pressures pushed him in a position where his, he, he lost his life at a very early age because there was so much voltage being put through that, that human being. Yeah. Ray and Robbie, they were, man, they're, they're taskmasters. What they lay down, the crush most singers. It was just, you have to be really strong in that space. It's, it was a killing floor. Yeah. Singing in front of doors with the king. I'm not talking about the audience. I'm talking about the actual being right there with those guys. That was the killing floor. So I think I held my own pretty good. We did 150 shows. And then it was just time to naturally, gracefully bow. Because I would have stayed. I would have been overstayed in the room. <laughs> I would have been like the house guest that wouldn't have gone away. I knew it was time to move on. 